reveal a repeat offender who supplies food to restaurants and stores around the Bay Area. Our Wendy Ryan joins us now with the details on this, Wendy. Yeah, we've done a story on this place before, Jameson. In fact, in November of last year, a special dirty dining investigation uncovered bakeries with poor inspection ratings. Well, now, based on recent inspection reports, one of those places has not gotten any better. So we went back to find out why they haven't cleaned things up and discovered the food they sell is also served at some local restaurants. My aunt said for my wedding gift, he would make my cake. Mary and Frank Gigundi have been buying baked breads and other goodies from Mauricio Faedo's Bakery on Florida Avenue in Tampa for years. But they recently got something extra in their hoagie rolls. Lo and behold, I get home, I opened up the bag, and it was baked in rat roach pieces. Well, I got queasy right after that. Frank was so upset, he filed a complaint with the Department of Agriculture and spoke with a local inspector twice. I called him again and I said, what are you doing about this? And they said, well, we can't discuss it because it's under investigation. Frank's complaint was documented on Fayedo's latest poor inspection report in October. State inspectors can issue a rating of good, fair, or poor. During that visit, the food safety inspector witnessed a live rat running across the stockroom floor. She also took a picture of this dead rodent next to bread crusts and hundreds of rodent droppings on the equipment and floors, along with rodent tracks in the flour on a food rack. According to the inspection report, there were ants crawling in the flour bins and sugar bins, and 20 pounds had to be destroyed. And this live roach sat comfortably on top of a raw piece of dough. 15 pounds of that bread had to be tossed. The inspector summed up the report by saying, quote, gross unsanitary conditions observed throughout and shut down production of the entire bakery for 48 hours until conditions improved and the infestations gone. But Mauricio's customer base goes far beyond its location here on Florida Avenue. We discovered the bakery delivers its famous Cuban bread to at least a dozen local restaurants and stores all over the Bay Area. So we called the bakery several times and finally went there to get some answers. Hi, Lino. I'm Wendy Ryan. Nice to meet you. I wanted to talk to you about your most recent inspection reports from the Department of Agriculture. I was throwing out this. Do you guys think to the owner for that now? Well, I've been calling the owner several times and he hasn't returned my call, so I thought I could show up and hopefully someone would speak to me about the reports. Well, you got, they told me to tell you to call them. Lino said he had no authority to comment. But this isn't the first time Mauricio's bakery has been warned by the state. In a special dirty dining investigation in November of last year, we uncovered inspectors shut down the place for 24 hours because of unsanitary conditions. Frank hopes this latest warning is the final wake-up call for Mauricio's owner. You better clean up your act or get out of business. Now, I did speak with owner Mauricio Faedo on the phone. He did not want to go on camera, but blames the problems on the now vacant post office right next to his property. He sent this statement, which reads in part, quote, every inspection from the health department has been immediately addressed and has received the utmost priority to obtain an expedient resolution. We have hired a professional extermination company to maintain compliance. To view his entire statement and to see the inspection reports, go to our website at abcactionnews.com slash dining. So where do we stand now, Wendy? Because they're back open again. They are back open. They were closed on October 22nd, back open on October 24th. Of course, they had to clean and sanitize all the equipment, get rid of those infestations. The inspectors will be back this month to make sure the place stays clean. And, of course, we'll pull those reports and stay on top of it.